Welcome back to part two of our Hat for Change campaign, a campaign to improve horse welfare standards at racecourses across the UK. So what happened on day one at Royal Ascot? Louis Mariette and I spent several hours preparing the hat and hair in torrential rain, hiding under a tree. Thank you to hairdressers Lou Ver of Rickwinsworth, makeup by Alexa Riva Ravina, a beautiful ethical dress loaned by KV Couture, and support by Angels for the Innocent Ambassador and animal advocate Darina. And finally, we were ready. This is the Ascot hat. It has over 1,400 roses to signify the death of every single horse at British race courses since 2007. I'm wearing this hat today at Ascot in order to raise awareness to improve horse welfare standards. And I really hope to engage everybody in the whole of England into thinking about what we can do to make this happen, such as get rid of the jumps, get rid of the whip, and shorten the courses. Of course, there's many other aspects that desperately need changing, but these three things is what I'd like to start with. Thank you. We walked to the entrance whilst there was a break in the rain. We did not want to enter inside, as we wanted to make a stand for change, not support with ticket sales. After a crazy moment of photography by press and TV, we had done our job, so we headed back home. And yes, we really did make an impact, which was amazing. We had the front cover of the Telegraph, the inside of the Times, the Express and the Daily Mail. Amazing features in the Huffington Post, The Ecologist, Kent Online, Discovery Education, Surrey Occasions, The Argos, Horse Talk and many others. We were enthralled to see that all the press spoke about the message behind the hat and what changes we are gunning for the removal of jumps at steeplechase races and the banning of the whip. We understand that the welfare of racehorses goes far deeper and there is so much that needs improving. But I think for now, we need to focus on realistic changes which will be considered in the House of Commons. Watch this space as this is not the end of the story. Please share both parts of this film Spread the word and contact your local MP asking for improvements in horse welfare at UK racetracks. Please visit these websites to find out more about why horse racing kills. Thank you to everyone below who without them this would not have been possible. To watch part one again, please click here. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.